So we start off with opening a new file in Photoshop and from there I can select uh, width of a thousand, height of a thousand and a resolution of 72. That could be uh, your default values uh, really when creating parts for Polyjet. The next we're going to create a sphere. So uh, Photoshop has primitives, we're going to create a new mesh from a layer, going to mesh preset and we're going to select our sphere. And this is going to generate a sphere and uh, we can rotate and zoom in and out and pan and those controls are on the bottom left hand of our 3D plane. Now if we move along and we select our material for the uh, sphere we will come up here with this diffuse. Diffuse is the texture, and that's the color element of the texture. I'm going to go replace texture. At the moment it's white, and I'm going to give to this sphere the uh, an image of an earth. So on the right hand side you can see the original image, and this is an image that I've gone and removed the C from and replaced it with a clear texture. And next we're going to go and add the bump and I go and load the texture and here is a uh, the bump map. Now all of these images they've been downloaded from NASA uh, they're freely available and uh, um, obviously you have to edit out the C if you wish to for it to be transparent however it's not a problem if you're using uh, uh, the original image. So we move the bump slider all the way up and I uh, just want to have a look at this uh, texture itself, edit the texture for the height map. So as we can see we've got our white elements, they're going to be higher, we've got the darker elements and they're going to be lower. We can see we've got some quite sharp lines or differentiation between the white areas, or some of these white areas and the black areas and so we're just going to smooth that out so that we don't get a cliff face type uh, differentiation between the uh, high points and the low points. So I'm going to be applying here a Gaussian blur and that is just going to soften up the edges uh, all over and uh, we'll remove some of the uh, smaller peaks at the same time. So I've gone for quite a drastic Gaussian blur. Uh, you could go for a, a more reduced one but I just really want to very quickly uh, show you the capabilities here. So now we can uh, uh, move on straight to exporting for 3D. I can click on the 3D window, go to the 3D print settings and this is automatically going to open up the print settings for the Stratasys J750 full color printer. And the main setting to uh, to look at here now is the bump map setting, ensure that it is ticked off and I've input here a height of 5. So this is 5 millimeters height difference from the black area to the white areas of my bump map. And we can go off and uh, export this file. And here I'm just going to uh, save this. I've uh, often I would do a few versions, maybe at different heights, just to make sure that I get the uh, output that I require. And now we can go straight into uh, GrabCAD Print, and I can import this VRML file. So the VRML is a mesh file and includes the image textures that we created and here we go now we can see the clear visualization and the height map and the higher areas. Um, so the clear visualization typically is limited in Photoshop and we can carry out an estimate and send this part to print. And here's the end result that's visible um, from the printed uh, uh, file and this has been polished up as well. Uh, also uh, the polishing took about 15 minutes.